What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your last half of April 2023 forecast. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what's going to be coming in for you guys for the last two weeks of April. All right, this is for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What's coming in for the sign of Gemini for the last half of April? Okay, y'all. I see that y'all are Oracle, Gemini. Uh, y'all come from a long lineage of Oracles, Sages, you know, Psychics, Mediums, things of that nature. I feel like y'all got strong assistance right now. Y'all could definitely have a Hilarion around y'all. It's time to tap into the next level. Okay, so it's like if you tapped into like, if you like basically chip the iceberg when it comes down to your intuition, it's form it's like um it's like deeper levels of this that you get ready to tap into and they want you to like be brave and like basically get rid of any of the attachments like so like let's say you you know let, let's say you are a psychic but right now you're using tools whether that's charms tarot cards smoke water you know scrying whatever the case is um you know, whatever the case is, what uh, tea leaves, palms, whatever. But it's like, uh, now it's time for you to step into a level of mediumship, okay? Because right now, you guys could be, like, uh, separated from y'all light or diminished. Like, like y'all light could have got diminished from some type of war that was going on with a karmic soulmate of yours, okay? A definite star-crossed lover. Somebody that you're not meant to be with, that you could have got beefed out with. Um, this person definitely didn't get their wishes when it came down to what they wanted for you, okay? Outside of diminishing your light a little bit. So, it's time to, like, uh, like cleanse your aura a little bit, you know, cleanse your aura because you're about to step into a new level of personal power. Look at this, y'all. The Queen of Force is definitely in, in alignment with all of the... Um, Elements of the universe with the cosmos, with the ecosystem. So y'all may notice a definite change when it comes down to how you connect with nature, how animals outside connect with you, you know, things that just kind of come around y'all. Like when y'all notice uh, like a lot of wild animals like approaching people, it's because they got a, a cleansed or a like a very pure aura and a high vibration. Yeah, and that's what energy y'all in. It's like y'all inner child is happy right now, you know, but it's like, again, this could be the thing that causes people to want to target you, all right? Because what I am getting is that a little bit of this light is kind of diminished right now or you guys are disconnected from it, all right? So y'all might be more into y'all power than y'all is y'all light right now. And that could be because y'all had to be on defense for so long because of a karmic partner here that didn't want you to get your wish fulfillment and they could have been trying to win at all costs with that okay yeah i'm definitely feeling like you had to go through some imbalances or whatever but it's like you stopping to smell the roses right now because this can be the calm after the storm to be honest with you okay yeah i, I definitely do feel like y'all single-handedly came up against the community of individuals like by by yourself physically and with your uh like metaphysical assistance i feel like you know like your ancestors your spirit team your guides that's who you had to help you but on the physical realm it was like a lot of different people coming up against you okay now i feel like your time of isolation is over you guys could be getting called out of isolation because they may be bringing like a very high vibration vibrational uh inspirational feminine energy and this can be anywhere from like a journalist interviewer or something to that extent but this may be something where you know um this person may continue to extend energy after y'all do business together because yeah somebody definitely maybe they want to talk about like being gang stalk being a targeted individual um being somebody that has had to overcome a lot of spiritual warfare so this could be somebody that's equally as spiritual but maybe they do more like you know research and talk about it and have guest speakers on whatever type of platform they may have okay um this person may inspire you to write a book or they may be wanting to ask to like basically interview you to put you in a section of your book if they interview with multiple people okay so dang yeah but right now again it's like don't be afraid to tap into these deeper levels because i feel like y'all mediumship gifts are trying to surface and it could be a little bit scary 
but it's like don't get stuck in a comfort zone because it's like y'all might y'all might have really mastered using tools and things like that gemini but it's time to like evolve out of that and like basically use uh like use the the new level of strength and exercise the new level of strength of this ascended intuition that you guys are being granted y'all i'm telling you your ancestors are watching you they watched you go through hell they sent you through an initiation and it felt like you was going through a maze y'all could have felt like y'all was on a hamster wheel going through going uh you know going in circles but that was literally because y'all had people multiple people holding y'all back trying to pluck y'all wings to keep y'all from truly truly soaring off into your full potential okay but i see you guys exceeding that energy now like this is definitely chest not checkers and people are finding that out that instead of like surrendering or bowing down it's like you're gonna fight harder until they get tired and it could be however many like they could spiritually jump you all they want having round table discussions bible studies and meetings about you y'all y'all doing magic but they very new to this and that could be the reason why they felt the need to be so deep you get what I'm saying? That may be why they felt the need to have so many of them basically attacking you is because they could be very new to this because I'm getting they at a page level with this shit. Yeah, some of them just went through their awakening, okay? All right. So y'all may be getting some good news this week. Somebody, may, somebody from the past may also be reaching out to you, okay, with some lighthearted energy, but this could be... Who? Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody that want to squash the beef, y'all. <laughs> this person was a casualty of the war they started, for real, for real. Yeah, because you are, you are a prophetess, so you are very much like um valued by your ancestors, okay? Because I'm getting that y'all are like I said, the the newest, youngest new generational prophetess okay and it's like your ancestors is definitely like they always there they always there look how they always lurking in the shadows like we watch you we see you you know what i'm saying you did a good job pedawar you know what i'm saying but yeah it's like they see you and it's like y'all could even have like passed over mother and a, i mean passed over grandparents and a parents okay because you got multiple generations looking over you or, you know, a sister or aunt or whatever the case is. But definitely somebody more closer to your age than a grandparent. You know what I'm saying? So, again, if y'all mother passed on, that's somebody that's also looking over you. But it also could be older sister, aunt, cousin. You know, somebody that was, like, really close to you. Okay? Y'all, but I definitely see that. It's like they looking at you. They, they watching to see what you're going to do when this person come back. Because you basically been through hell and it's time for an upgrade. But of course, it's like you being watched right now. It's like, and again, I'm telling you, Hilarion is very present in your life. So, you know, you definitely link to the Ascended Master himself, okay? So, I mean, one of them. So, I mean, it don't matter because the, the fact of the matter is that's an inheritance. And it's like your ancestors are watching. Like, are you ready for this new inheritance? Or are you going to blow it except in the flirtation and the, the uh, lightheartedness of this old person trying to come back in? You know, we need you to take this time very serious. We need to make sure you pass this test before we give you this next level of your power. You get what I'm saying? Because this person diminished your light in the past and we had to restore it. Now you're getting this upgrade. And are you going to be in this energy where you willing to accept this person back now that you overcame the struggle that they put you in or are you gonna stay 10 toes down and knowing that us as your spiritual team had to work extra hard to purify your energy to protect you from this person and everything else so yeah they testing your loyalty to yourself to them you know to your path nine of wands this person is forced to surrender you so Something has definitely happened where their supply has been cut off. And now they're trying to see. Like, I see a lot of that. I see, I'm seeing a lot of that, okay, in this springtime. So, I don't know what y'all been manifesting over the past few moons. Yeah, but y'all definitely withdrew y'all love energy. And I kind of feel like, in essence, it's like you saw this person as like, uh, like a dark messenger. 
okay? Because you you releasing this person like a crow or you released this message. You released any darkness off into the ethers. It's like these are all my dark thoughts, dark people, any toxicity that's been clouded in my space, my head space. Yeah, because it's something about this person that you feel like is wrong, especially now that you see them for who they really are. Okay, it's like this person can no longer cloud your judgment with illusions because you see and it's like you face big regrets behind this person. You definitely did. So y'all don't want to emotionally or practically like y'all don't want to work with this person or y'all don't want to uh you guys don't want to reconcile on an emotional level with this person. It's like hell no. Nah. Like after after the war is over, no thanks. Like that was a doozy, you know. Even though I did it, don't think it was effortless because shit, it was hard work beating your ass. <laughs> You gave me, you know, energetically, I'm talking about y'all. So don't think I'm just out here thinking y'all on some world star shit. But it was, it was, it was tiring. It was a, a energetically taxing beating this person. So don't get it twisted. You know, uh, why you sitting here having to battle, fight for your life, fight for your path, fight for your birthrights against multiple people. Of course, that shit wore you out. It's like, I want a break now. No, thank you. And I'm about to let you back in so we can go another round. Okay, so why is the moon here? The moon. Y'all, ooh, y'all. Ooh. Y'all. Tell y'all, for some of y'all, it's a masculine energy. Y'all got a lot of ancestral, ancestral energy around you guys. All right. But for some of you, it can be an older male that was a part of holding you back or holding you down. Somebody is in purgatory now or they just like stuck. Like their manifestations is at a standstill or things is on pause in their life. Yeah, y'all. Ooh. See, the thing is, is that people, people don't see who's around you. Because mostly what's around you is energetic. It's more on the energetic level. It's not like you may not have a whole lot of physical family around you or any friends or anything to back you up or support you. But it's like when people approach you energetically, then they see why you so fearless. Because it's like you, you, you cover. You have to have blind faith to know like what's going on here. But it's, it's there. You feel the presence of, you know, ancestral presence around you. And I feel like you ain't got no choice. Yeah, I'm telling you. So, yeah, before y'all go into this new timeline, y'all got a test to pass. Are y'all going to go back towards this person that either uh, is not a part of your Akashic Records or they breach certain contracts to cause things to come to an end? Are you going to tolerate this person coming back or not? Because I feel like that's what determines you guys stepping into y'all next level of inheritance and blessings. This is not necessarily somebody you meant to be with. And that's the reason why this person was forced to surrender. They were. I don't know what happened. Why were they first? How and why? No, how? Because we don't need to know why. The why is you're protected. Yeah. Yeah. Because multiple people in their life could have got defeated. It could have been four casualties in this situation. All right. Or four people got sick. One and one uh one survived and three died. Cause it seemed like three people flying high. Oh yeah, it is. Trying to get to you. And this could be specifically people that this person sent towards you for whatever reason. To harass you, bully you, cyber stalk you, whatever the case is. But damn, yeah. Y'all, they, they ain't forced to surrender this contract. They might as well stop. <laughs> it's no sense. Like, even if they coming forth with genuine intentions this time, they got to stop because it's, this is coming off like a test for you. But this person feel like this is real. Like, if you was to accept that this would be a real opportunity, it wouldn't be. Y'all cannot live a beautiful life together after what this person did. Because your ancestors not going to be in support. Because you got to understand. It's like, again, a war was fought on your behalf. Or, you know, you could have did some slaying as well. But you needed help. 
And it wasn't a way you could have took on all these people on your own. It was definitely your team. Definitely your team. Yeah. Who? This person was hoping that you was going to be able to like, like they was going to hold some type of persona or some false image for long enough to be able to like betray you or something like that. But you found out before they can betray you. Yeah, it's like somebody was really trying to hold something out for long enough to be able to trick you. And it didn't happen because like I said, some of y'all may be tarot readers or mediums. Okay, if not, you got a very wise one. 12.44, if something significant can be about 12.44 p.m. Or December 8th or August 12th. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you. Woo. <clears throat> this person wants an opportunity to make a new decision. Y'all is declining. Because y'all feel like this person full of drama. Y'all don't want to go back to war. Y'all looking for love now, okay? It's like, I already been through the war. I had to turn up like the Sphinx on y'all ass. I had to turn into, you know, uh, a female lion on y'all ass. You know, a lioness on y'all ass. And basically, again, like I said, I see three people. One, two, three. Yeah. It could be like literally three casualties. And I don't care what that is. People businesses taking major flaws. People passing away. It's something here. Five of Wands in reverse. You doing this person a favor by exiting because whoever this is, they definitely on a suicide mission. Yeah. You like, you're not slick anymore. I'm not doing this. You childish. You need to heal your inner childhood wounds. You know, or some of y'all got children to protect or a child, a son, something like that. But for me, I feel like this is this person's inner child. You feel like they childish and combative. And even if they are trying to make up, it's only to try to get another uh, leg up or trying to get a foot in to do it again. They want to rematch. They a sore loser. And you see this as childish. It's like, stop being childish. I already won. And... We talking about when it come down to your life. You get what I'm saying? So this person fighting hard to gain access to something or to stop something over your life. You know? Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Yeah, this person ain't got no protection. You could have been a spiritual protection. Yeah, and this person is an energy vampire or a thief of whatever. You know, they could have stole something from you, y'all. All right? I don't care if it's just energy. I don't care if they was getting things from you. You get what I'm saying? That they, you know, said, oh, let me hold something and they're going to pay you back. And they never did, which is still stealing. It's like, okay. When you don't give back something you promised to give back, it's essentially you took something from somebody. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, this person is under judgment right now and they are very concerned because again, they chose the wrong path. And then I feel like they was trying to convince you to choose the wrong path, which would be them. And you decide not to, which is pushing you into some type of upgrade. You know, you inheriting more gifts, more wealth, an opportunity with somebody and which an opportunity where this person may be want to write about you, speak about you, interview you, and this may end up turning into a friendship, which can turn into a lot of opportunity for you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like doors of opportunity is opening, and y'all blocking this person. Y'all feel like they still unhealed. They not healed. Y'all blocking their message. Y'all, because y'all feel like they haven't changed, and y'all not about to let this person rock your foundation because y'all feel like y'all been working too hard for an inheritance to come in um and it's finally here and y'all not about to blow it on this person again like this person really feel like they something special and maybe they was but not to the degree of sacrificing yourself or sacrificing your birthright <laughs> that's a little too much to ask too 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 much all right let's get some message cards right quick to see what else spirit got to say about these last two weeks of april for you guys i only got a few more minutes left before storage run out so we just gonna get a couple of these 
Let's get some message cards for the sign of Gemini. Older woman, older man. Okay, you are revered as good luck. I'm telling you, remover of obstacles, destroyer of evil. So it's like all the stuff that was coming to this person due to their negative energy. It's like you was destroying that on contact. That's why this person wanted to stay in your energy under your spiritual shield. You may be older than this person or it's an age difference here. This person says that their heart is tender towards you. They're not usually like this. They're not usually obsessive or possessive to this degree. But they never found an energy like yours. Your energy is unmatched and they ain't going to let go just that easily. They can sense that you got a strong urge from within to move on. And I feel like you are, guys, because your prayers are being answered. You could have been asking for an upgrade in your... Uh, gifts for a long time or praying for your inheritance to come through and to be able to overcome what this person was doing or blocking didn't i say y'all are linked intimately with the ascended masters who are linked to the energies of will power and love take classes in meditation psychic development counseling healing spiritual uh, spiritual arts your feminine energy is wide open your receptivity is high but not to the wrong thing it's like your intuition is high too. Your mediumship is, is coming to you and your light is returning to you. And this person got a green eye for this. Okay. This person might have been like thinking about all the things like they was already living out your pocket. Like thinking about all the trips y'all can take. They can't get enough of you. So if they ever said that, they meant it. This person have daddy issues. They feel like you enlighten them to a new way. This person could be Caribbean. You could be African American. They could be Caribbean. All right. The boy that cried wolf. Yeah, y'all see them as somebody that's always coming in with a sob story, making you feel sorry just to get what they got to get out of you. And then you never hear from this person until they need you again. So y'all done. And then after, like, I feel like once y'all turn this person down for good they waged war but y'all y'all's intuition and wisdom is growing stronger y'all supernatural powers and abilities is growing very much stronger because i was saying that with the sun and the moon it's like y'all sky gods and goddesses i mean y'all just really y'all really hitting the mark okay and y'all may be like about time but it don't matter it's like some people never get here all right, this person may be trying really hard to be sexy for you, to try to get you to answer the phone, saying whatever they can say, sending you pictures. This person is trying to avoid some type of eviction. So that might be the sob story that they come up with, okay? This person may want to procreate with you, but I would watch having unprotected sex because this person might be carrying trichomonas and not know it. All right, yeah, they want to know if you met somebody different and you haven't yet, but shit, when you do... It's going to be more in alignment with who you are because this person is just a leech. They're a parasitic person, okay? Y'all. And they've been keeping you from really doing the things that you could have been doing, but now it's their time to pay, honestly, because I'm just getting that they was on a suicide mission, okay? So, yeah, for some of y'all, this, this may be transpiring in the next one to three months, but just keep in mind, you know, everybody on different timelines, but just know that this is coming and that, you know, especially if you pass the test of turning down anybody from the past, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. All right. So like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.